What is up? This is your boy Paul from Grumpy Head TV. Um, if you're new to our channel, this is where we document how we buy, sell, and take you to special events that we go to. Little K is not available oh. today. She is at school. Um, I'm updating my iPhone. And since that's actually taking a lot of resources from my laptop, I decided to make this video and answer a question that everyone has been asking me recently. And the question is, how did you get started as a reseller? So being a reseller is a person that buys things at low cost, sells them at a high price. And there's really no sp specific niche. Um, you, you're not really, um, we do have a company, so it's kind of like um, I, a general store. For me, at least my sort of niche is a general store for um, higher end products. And we'll get, and we'll get into that um, in a little bit. So I've always been buying and selling on eBay on and off. And but typically it was items I no longer needed. So for, um, we'll make up a hypothetical example. So let's say I had a screwdriver I was no longer using and I would go on eBay and see if there's any monetary value. Right? I'm not gonna make, let's say the 1999 I paid for that particular screwdriver, but I'll get some of my money back since I'm not using it and it would pay for lunch. I did that for a little while and one day I was actually on YouTube, I was watching this video where this person was a reseller and he documented the process of, you know, from the time he left his home to the estate sale that he went to, to the items that he bought, negotiated the pricing and what he did to, to make a profit on it. So, I think a couple of days later, uh, on my Facebook page or something, the state sale in my area showed up, and um, I had nothing to do on the weekend, so I figured, let's go visit the estate sale. So using the same methods that that person was using is what I did. I bought a few things, sold them online, did it again, and again, and then I got hooked. Remember, it's, it's only nice to make money when it's fun, right? If it's not, it turns into a job. So that's how I got started. Um, I've been selling, I've been buying stuff from estate sales. I've built relationships with certain estate companies. I do do garage sales as well. You, some depends on this, on the year. I live in Northeast, so the winter, obviously there's no garage sales. No one's putting their stuff out. And people have this misconception that when you go to garage sales, you're buying other people's junk. You will be surprised at the condition and how good the condition if not some of the stuff is brand new that people aren't using and they just want to get rid of it make a couple of bucks maybe for lunch and so forth and um there's a, a lot of other stuff out there like vintage clothing and so forth there's um concert tees that people want to buy as long as they're in good condition um people will buy them even though they're pre-owned or used and um i'll post some stuff up um I'll give you some, I want to see if I still have the photos, like I'll sell anything from um, office equipment, like um, conference call, conference call devices, um, business phones, uh, I, I buy a lot of collectible toys, uh, vintage clothing, um, clothing new with tags, and but it's just not like, you have to understand the brands too, you're not going to go to Old Navy and buy a $7 pair of jeans and try to sell them for 15 bucks. It just doesn't work that way. You're looking at brands like, for example, we recently got in um, a Christian Dior ladies dress suit. Um, if I have the photo, I will post it up here. And we paid pennies on the dollar for it. It was in pristine condition. And usually people who have these type of clothing, these higher end um, brand clothings, will keep them in good condition. I've sold Christian Dior, um, I sold a Christian Dior silk robe that I believe we paid about $7 for. We resold it for close to $40 before fees and stuff like that. And that actually had a hole in it. But um, on our listings, we did specify, we did take pictures telling the person that was purchasing it that there was a hole in it. And I believe it was just um, the buckle in the back was loose and it was starting to come apart. 
and we most of the time we'll go back and email them when they buy it and say hey did you take a look at the photo do you know that there is um, this flaw in this clothing or a flaw in this particular product and you know as long as they they understand that there is a flaw when they're buying it you usually don't get returns okay um so right now um lost my train of thought but yeah we <laughs> but right now we're actually buying from estate sales it's the winter now so there's no garage sales to go to i also buy from um wholesalers as well uh, recently this is not in our new video yet but recently we got these face masks from from um from wholesaler these are um for females i guess to clean your face and take up take off all the dirt and oil to re revitalize you or whatnot and um we're just in the process of separating all that putting it up on our ebay store and we do have a website and we're in the process of revamping it now um truth be told this is not my full-time gig um we do this part-time i do have i do hold a day job and hopefully one day we'll be able to scale from where we are now to making it a full-time job and we're also building a community on Facebook and usually we will post it on our Facebook page first before it actually goes on to eBay or our website. We want the people in our community to get first dibs on the item and sometimes we'll even sell it at a cheaper rate um, because we just got it and we're able to make a little bit of money and move the item it gives us the money back to go ahead and purchase other items so hopefully this will answer your question of how to become a reseller there will be more videos um, coming later on regarding the pros and cons of being a, a, a reseller and if you have any questions um, comment below or to um, she's always saying this to hit the like button to hit the notification bell and subscribe I almost forgot to, t to tell you guys something so if you want to learn more about reselling um, I'm gonna reference a couple of YouTube channels below you have John from Cincinnati Pickers he's a reseller as well um, then we also have Ryan from thrift mine I'll put his channel below as well and these are the two channels that I actually watch and learn um, a little bit more about reselling all right so don't forget to subscribe hit the like button um, hit the notification bell so when new videos come out um, you will instantly know about it and that's it peace see you next time